Hello, my name is Mrs. Jobert, and I've designed a video that will help you become a better writer. This video will help you with six simple steps that you use each and every time you sit down to write a letter, research paper, or short story. Those steps are called the writing process. The writing process includes thinking, planning, organizing, drafting, revising, and editing. Writing is a process that involves at least four distinct steps. Pre-writing includes thinking, planning, and organizing. Next, there's drafting, revising, and last, editing. It is known as a repetitive process because you repeat each step until you've gotten it done correctly. While you are revising, you might have to return to the pre-writing step to develop and expand your ideals. What do you do before you write? Well, that's called brainstorming. You brainstorm about ideals or a topic that you want to write about. Everybody brainstorms before they write. Every famous author has sat down to brainstorm or think about what it is they want to write. Famous authors such as J.K. Rollins, Toni Morrison, and Julie Bloom. Brainstorming is a way to think up ideals for a story or a book. Write down everything that you think about, everything that comes to mind. Any ideal may become a good topic. Any crazy ideal that you think about can become a short story or a poem. Brainstorming can help you write something that is serious or just a story that you write for fun. To get ideals, look around you or read lots of books. You can also talk to people that you know like families and friends and you may want to create something that is authentic or something that you have heard before and just adjust it to meet your classifications. The first step that we do is pre-writing and pre-writing as I stated earlier includes thinking, planning and organizing. Pre-writing is anything you do before you write the draft or document. It includes thinking, taking notes, talking to others, brainstorming, outlining, and gathering information. It may also include interviewing people and researching information in a library. Although pre-writing is the first activity you engage in, generating ideals is an activity that occurs throughout the writing process. After the pre-writing stage, it's drafting. Drafting occurs when you put your ideals into sentences and paragraphs. Here you concentrate upon explaining and supporting your ideals fully. You also begin to connect your ideals. Regardless of how much thinking and planning you do, the process of putting your ideals in words changes them. Often the very words you select invoke additional ideals or implications. Don't pay attention to such things as spelling at this stage. You can save that for later. This draft tends to be writer-centered, which means that you're focusing on your ideals and yourself, what you think about the topic. After you have formed your draft, then you go to the revising stage. Revision is the key to effective documents. Here you think more deeply about your reader's needs and expectations. The document becomes reader-centered. How much support will each ideal need to convince your readers? Which terms should be defined for these particular readers? Is your organization effective? Do the readers need to know X before they can understand Y? At this stage, you also refine your prose. Make each sentence as concise and accurate as possible. Make connections between ideals explicit and clear. Lastly, there is editing. Check for such things as grammar and mechanical and spelling errors. The last thing you should do before printing your document is to spell check. Don't edit your writing until the other steps in the writing process are complete. If you follow these six simple steps each and every time that you write, you will become a successful writer. Thank you very much.